Hey everyone, good morning. This is Dan, uh, representing the Cowart Family YMCA. Uh, and today I've got for you a nice, very core focused 30 minute workout. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is performing this in an AMRAP style, as many rounds as possible. So we're gonna set our timer for 30 minutes and we're gonna go through a little sequence of exercises. We're gonna be performing 10 repetitions per round and uh, in some cases per side of the body. So our first movement is a T push-up. So that is gonna start from a high plank position. We're gonna lower ourselves down into a push-up, press back up, rotate to the side, into a side plank. Return, push-up, side plank on the other side. Now, this movement is one where we get a little bit of flexibility to make the exercise more or less challenging. We can either count one repetition as a single push-up paired with a single side plank, or we can do two push-ups paired to a side plank on each side. So up to you how difficult you want it to make it be. Um, but we perform our T push-up, then we return to the standing position, and we're gonna do a reverse lunge knee drive. So we're gonna use a counter um, body arm movement. Lunge back, drive forward. Lunge back, drive forward. So my right knee goes down, my right knee goes up, and my arms counterbalance. So I do 10 reps on my right side, 10 reps on my left. For our reverse lunge knee drives, we're going into the RDL Ys. So for a RDL or remaining deadlift, that is a hip hinge movement. So we're going to stay centered on our feet with our center of gravity. We're going to extend our hips backwards, shoulders back, back straight, and we're going to externally rotate the arms. I like to point my thumbs up and outward, and we're going to come up into a Y shape, like so, while retracting the shoulder blades, squeezing them nice and hard. So we start from the same position, reach the hips back, hinge, squeeze the shoulder blades, arms up. So 10 repetitions, hinge, squeeze, stand, hinge, squeeze, stand. Next, similar family of exercises, but just challenging the rotator cuff in a slightly different way. We're going to assume that hinge position again. This time we're gonna stay in it, in it in a more static manner. I'm hinged and I'm going to do a W with my arms. So it's the W rather than the Y will look like so. So I hinge, squeeze my shoulder blades together. I'm thinking about elevating both my elbow and my hand as much as possible. But retract and squeeze, 10 repetitions. Next, we're returning to the floor for quadruped kickbacks. We're assuming the quadruped position where my hands are beneath my shoulders, my knees are beneath my hips, my back is level, and I will be extending my leg fully, returning back. 10 repetitions per side, being mindful of back position, trying not to rotate. One side and then the other, 10 repetitions. And then final exercise in the sequence is the no knee quadruped. So, starting from that same position, I will make contact with my toes. I will lift my knees off the floor. I can make that as simple as that. Nice isometric hold, or if I want to make it a little more interesting and give me a nice way to count out my 10 reps, I can add in a single leg foot lift along with that. So no knees and just a few inch rise out of the feet. 10 repetitions per side. So that's the sequence. So before I let you have at it, let's run through those one more time. Starting with the T push up, push up, rotate, push up, rotate, 10 repetitions. The reverse lunge knee drive, 10 per side. The RDL Ys, hinge.
the bent W's to this angle here. Quadruped kick back. And the no knee single leg foot lift. That's the workout. Have fun.